but anyhow, uh, welcome to Rev Live. I am IR Girl, and this is my posse. No. What's good? <laughs> yeah. What's up, everybody? Everybody say hello. Hello. Frank's hello. here, AJ's here, and Troy is here. And we have a lot to talk about. Um, hey, Swinging Stacks, and hey, you know what? I can't even say your name right. Is it... <laughs> How do how do you say your name? Swinging sex? No, not sex. Oh. <laughs> yeah, how do you say, how do you say it? No, really, how do you say it? <laughs> no. But um, so we're here with a lot of talk to it's a lot to talk about. But first, I want to let everybody know that the Rebel Gaming T-shirt is for sale. If you go to rebgaming.com, there's a post pinned to the front page. It says Rebel Gaming Merchandise. Click on there. It's via PayPal. If you are a member of the community, do not pay through that link. Get at me. You have a special link. A $12 link. If you're part of the community, it's $12. And I forget, I think I marked them like $13.50 or $14. Something like that for non non members. Also, if you're a member of the community and you're in uh, the United States, you get free shipping. Or I deliver it to your door, or your workplace. <laughs> so if I come in on tomorrow and I just throw twelve dollars, you I will. I will shit you out a t-shirt. Okay. Ooh, awesome. That's interesting. <laughs> what if you see that? Hey, Zenek, long time. What's up, buddy? Zenek's hey, one dude. of our. Who you are, but how's it going? Yeah, Zenek's one of our uh, long time listeners. Good deal. So, yeah. I'm dropping frames like freaking trying to think. Who drops bass really well? Well, Megan Trainer's got that song about bass. I mean, that kind of flies. <laughs> so we have a lot to talk about today, so we're just going to kind of get into it. And um, in a moment, up on the wonderful Rebel Gaming Tron. Dun, dun, dun. Let's wait a minute. Game of the year? Oh, he just got Phantom Pain. So. Ah! That's it. I have, uh, <laughs> oh, Go yeah. hold now. That's it. Show's over. <laughs> okay, that's it. But we're actually going to delve into, um, if everybody can see the screen, because it finally changed. Um, something that's near and dear to me, Star Wars. Everybody knows I'm a big Star Wars junkie. If you're if you're privileged enough to be on my personal Facebook page, you'll know that not, probably 60% of my posts are related to Star Wars. Star Wars merchandise, Star Wars dinnerware, <laughs> dress wear. Dinnerware. Yeah, oh, they have yes, they have they have their place sets, Star Wars. Um, I, think I have a cup. Like but a do cup. you really? You okay. you will have to get pictures of that. If I still have it. Okay, you have to find it. So, um, I was scrolling to my Facebook last week, early last week, I guess it was, and I saw, and AJ commented on it, and I think he might have cried when he saw it. Yep. Um, the UK gets, as from what we understand, it's a very short article that we saw. Um, it just says from the official Twitter of Star Wars The Force Awakens that they get to see Star Wars a day before we do. That happens a lot lately, doesn't it? So, yeah, it does seem to. So, um, what is the general feeling about this? I'm alright with that. Fuck I am you. So I am not alright with that. That's it. I'm not alright with so that. I am pissed off too. That's so bullshit. Said, I'm gonna call JJ out on that at New York Comic Con this year, because that is crap. Of yeah. all movies that were before the UK, Star Wars should be the one. Well, there's always a reason behind it, isn't there? There's nothing... Here, I'll put the link up in chat for you guys, because I put all the links up usually afterwards. But First, the reason why I haven't been putting... Just real quick, the reason why I haven't been putting up the shows on our YouTube is because the quality is kind of ick lately. All right, so there... I personally, I personally think maybe the reason why... Is, I think they filmed in London or yeah, somewhere in the UK. So... Maybe there's an agreement yeah. where they have to give it to them first, but 
See, I'm with Moda. I, I it would... doesn't matter. I don't care where they filmed it at. I don't care if <laughs> they filmed it, it in, in my backyard. No, everybody <laughs> should everybody should get to see it on the same day. But maybe it's it, 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 really it, fair. Because... Rumor, maybe it's we don't. It was like a uh, boo boo on their part. No, it wasn't. I don't care. There's no, no, no fucking really excuse because the games usually are released first on. Well, no, this is this States. is for the. Well, it doesn't matter. The games, movies, whatever. I have made yeah, a holiday. I have I have made a holiday around this, and now <laughs> it's ruined by the UK. Oh please! It's uh, don't oh, please me. I'm serious. Well, maybe come over there, Greg. <laughs> right? This is important. This is like when Star Trek got ruined. This is like that for them. This is a big deal. Yeah. This is. This... If you don't count the prequel trilogy, prequel trilogy, this is like 35 years in the making. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so I just think it's, it's still gonna happen. It doesn't yeah, matter. I just think it's, it's delayed. the oh that happens. I'm rhyming. I'm driving. No, <laughs> but you know what? I would probably be, uh, I would, I would be probably okay with a delay in release than I am the fact that they get to see it before we do. That's nonsense. Now that's where I draw the line. I would rather miss it by 24 hours. No, Moda, they get to see it on the 17th, we get to see it on the 18th. And that's, look at Moda's like, is it five hours before us? Or is it a legit <laughs> full day? He's like, in the but it's true, I just don't, I don't, and, but there's no details as to why. I don't want to speculate. You don't have to. The point is, it's bullshit. And that's, that's, that's it. I'm just, I, I just threw my mouse down. Bullshit. But Isaac, in chat, bullshit. But you know what mm. I'm thinking about? Is this the official Star Wars Force Awakens Twitter or no? This comes. This article is off of Mashable, and they're pretty. Because I was just on Star Wars Twitter, and it doesn't say anything about. Did you, did you even read the article? The article is the official Star Wars Facebook page. Yes. I was okay. I didn't see that, but I'm skimming it. I'm looking for the first line. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. Yeah, so um, we're all we're all for that um, being bullshit. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna well, see it one thing. day uh, eventually, anyway. So Star Wars I'm... is cool, and I'm still gonna see it. My literal first Star Wars movie I saw was about a month ago. I was What? And I was... I just... I, it's not like I never liked their Star Trek or whatever. I just never really had the chance to watch it or never owned the movies or never really wanted to watch it. But after seeing... Or I really do want to finish it. Oh, yeah. And continue on. I'm sorry for your parents raising you like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> I didn't introduce me to Star Wars. I found out on, the, on my own. I got to see it when they re-released it in the end. That's cool. I ain't gonna do that. So, um, next on the list, um, should be popping up soon. We got some news this week, this last week. Yes. That something uh, pretty yeah. special <laughs> is coming now. <clears throat> I foresee a lot of accidents <laughs> happening. Oh <my> God, <laughs> yeah, I um, I but that's okay. I foresee a, a lot of yeah. a lot of that's okay. parents um neglecting small children. <laughs> no, about well, people, listen. Like, battling Pokemon while driving. Oh my god! Oh. Oh, could you see them like screeching to a halt because there's a, a Charizard in a field or something, and they stop on like the Garden State Parkway? <laughs> Gotta get it. <laughs> I can agree. Pokemon on motorcycles. Wait a minute! Can we stop for a minute? The Pokemon talk. Mona okay. just said something very disturbing in chat. I've, I've never. Need to see I've never the okay, but see, like that's that's kind of like you know. I've only saw it like. No, so, you, what you need to do is you need to watch the original. Just watch the original. The four, watch them all. Come on. No. No. Uh, here's, here's my, here's my belief. 
I say watch them one through six. Strictly, not just for chronological order, but <laughs> I feel specific. like when you watch them that way, they just get better. Exactly. The quality gets better that way. So at least when you start the first one, you say, okay, well, this is blue. So it, can only, it can't get worse. It can only get better. Well, it can always get worse, but... No, well, not Star, uh, Star uh, Wars, uh, it literally gets worse. It gets better. No, Star Wars... You just... You gotta watch... Let me see, I'm trying to think. Wait, I say that the quality from 1 to 6 greatly increases versus... Yeah, but see, you guys are younger. I watched them as they came out as a kid. Well, so did but, I. Yeah, but now there's a, there's a different... And, and, people, but, and people nowadays, they go, oh, let's go in chronological order. Well, I'm well, saying... I, I, listen, I'm I not talking just because of chronological As well. Because I saw they released that, it. I'm saying watch watch boy just because the quality of the movies get better as you continue through. Yeah, because one three you was... You don't want to four through six and then say, well, I watched those as the first three, and then you're going to say, well, these blow. It's just... You're gonna, it's going to kind of take it away from you that you didn't enjoy it as much. I still like one through three. I don't know what you're talking about. One through three are the more critically acclaimed just for the fact that people think that George Lucas just did it as a cash grab. Which is partially true. Yeah, I can, can't deny that. But I can't argue Liam Neeson being a Jedi is not a cool thing. Oh, it's so it's so a cool thing. But is it more actiony, like, or is it more? Yeah, a lot more action. Just well, watch the 1977 Star Wars. That's the one you need to watch. Yeah, that's the one I watched. I watched Episode Four. No, but see the first one. But why not watch Empire Strikes Back? Empire is so much better than the fourth one. Yeah. Empire is like the Star Wars movie that everybody says right. is the best Star Wars. Well, I think you just... I, I honestly do think you need to see them all, though. So That's why I say watch them in quality order. At least you watch the other... watch the Clone oh Wars, God. and then read all the books, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, AJ, AJ don't you have somewhere to go work or something? <laughs> Me? I, I, I mean, I can. No, but um, I just... The only thing I like about the prequels is there's so much... <laughs> Motive. <laughs> like what Moda says, Gary, don't go into that volcano. It's an active volcano with lava. Yeah, but there's a magmar in there. <laughs> Gotta go for that. So, speaking of Pokemon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, big news. And do we have the... Can somebody throw that link up in chat so everybody can... I mean, I they talk about it, but they don't really talk about it. Well, you know. Uh, did you watch... Did you guys watch the trailer, or was... I'm assuming yeah. yes. I did. Yeah. Yeah. The whole YouTube thing is so hype. Yeah. The big uh, YouTube fight was amazing. Yeah, I know. What, they what, definitely... what I was trying to hang on, hang on to before, I'll, I'll say it now. This game is going to be the greatest thing ever. Or it's going to totally be very bad. Yeah, no. Yeah. Right, kind of like the Wii. I, I like the Wii. No, I love my Wii, but what I'm saying, though, do you remember when it, it just it came fall. out? It was like Wii Sports was the greatest game on it. Oh my god! <laughs> so, I know yeah. that you didn't need to actually with the Wii. I felt that they could have just packaged it with the the Wii Sports and stuff like that. They didn't have to sell any other games with it. We must have played, oh, except for maybe uh, what is that? The the Raving Rabbits. Oh, that was fun. Those are fun. Those smash and all that. But all. but we had so much fun bowling on bowling nights. And playing that shit than we did. We probably played that more than any anything else. So, I I think it could be definitely a good f family bond between adults who've grown up on the series and kids that, you know, are growing yeah. into the series. Because I feel oh, like oh absolutely. Not going I mean, but soon. even well, yeah. Because you know, when I look back at it, God, I've been, you know, my twenty six year old was in elementary school when we started with Pokemon. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he was... Oh, oh my god, I'm trying to think. Let's was see. it 1998? Oh, no. 90, no. I think it was like 90. Yeah, it was something it was like, like that because I remember... What was the first, remember... the anime series or the actual game? The game. No. Was it... the, game, the game spawned... The game, I believe, was 97 and then the anime was 99. Right, because I, I, even I could be when wrong. they had the cartoon on, they didn't have, like, an official... Because they're... Because that's when the internet was still kind of new. <laughs> so they didn't really have like a listing. And 
Oh my god, every week they'd have the original Pokemon, and they would start rattling them off, and Rob, my 26, yes, he's 26 now, would make me sit and write down as many as I could. <laughs> oh, Pokemon <laughs> rap. Yes. That's the best. Uh, you know what I do? I do that, um, I don't know if you guys have ever used on Sporkle. It's like a quiz game like website. Oh yeah, yeah. Would yeah, yeah. do like the name the 150. How many of those I can name? Yeah. I still can't name it. Yes, I was Zenic, at 140. That's me. I remember I when there was two. only 100 Pokemon. Yeah, that's what uh, my my oldest kids say. 770 or 750 now. There's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. There's some that shouldn't even be Pokemon that I'm still kind of bitter about, and maybe it's it's gaming racism. Um, but I don't think that candlesticks and brooms should be Pokemon. No, come on. I have a problem with that. Litwick no. And, uh, yeah. I, chandelier. Yeah, something like that. I, I just, to me, that's not, um, you know, I, right, so and that's because Pokemon? I'm an original. I'm an OG. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> or like arcade. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. And to answer your question, the, rest of us in the game came out in '96. The show started in '98. Okay, yeah, one year off both. But um, that that was just like the best thing to ever come out in my childhood. Yeah, that was I just remember the... where I was when I got the first Pokemon game. My first was was it Red? Yeah, Red was, was the first was one. Red, red and blue. Technically, red, blue, no. And yellow. No, funny fact, it was red and green. 96. Yeah, that was well. That was the later. pan one. Yeah. It was a year later. Green didn't come out over here. No, green yeah. was. Really it was pan. red, blue, and yellow. But I, I think I've, I might have actually played every single Pokemon game that's yeah. ever been out. Well, if you don't include weird ones like Pokemon Snap and all that crazy oh, stuff. Well, hey, you whoa, Pikachu, Pokemon, Pokemon Snap, Snap though. Oh that God. was for the Nintendo or for the uh, C4. Yeah. Oh yeah, my that gosh. was so much. That was really fun. And uh, hey, you Pikachu with the little microphone. Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> uh, if we're going with stuff on N sixty four, if you Pokemon Stadium all the way, I don't even oh, give a crap. Stadium one and shit. two. Then there yeah. was um, what else came out? Underrated games that no one seems to play is Mystery the Mystery Dungeon. Mystery Dungeon. Thank you. It was a puzzle game I have uh, for I think the Game Boy Advance. It's it's so much fun. It's like it's not it's nowhere near as good as uh. No, but it's Pokemon. Yeah, you basically you basically become a Pokemon and you travel around and just battle like it's it's not it's it's good. You like go into dungeons and stuff and another it's a uh, snap sequel or riot and I'm like I'm totally I'm on I'm on Xenic. We need a snap sequel. Then there was um there was another one that uh I think it was 3DS or DS it was Pokemon Conquest. It was like a role playing game which was pretty fun. There's, it's, oh man, it's just too many. It's, it's just so good though, like. That is still like, the ultimate cash grab for Japan. Like, they could just, oh, they could. Oh god, it's amazing. They could basically probably put out remastered versions of Red and Blue, and then probably, again, for the third <laughs> time, and then probably. Well, the Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby which sold like crazy. They did Red and Blue, the series. All yeah. of them. They did Red and Blue, they did Silver and Gold. They did Ruby and Sapphire again, yeah. so next is going to be, what was after that, Diamond and Pearl? Diamond and yeah. Pearl, yeah. So yeah well, then they might do, um, they actually might be doing, uh, an Emerald remake. I heard rumor of, too. That's, uh, you know that really was, like, the... Do? Which probably will never happen, but I think for nostalgia fans that probably watch the show and play the games, I think they should build, make a game that literally follows the show to a T. Like, literally cookie cutter. Well, or the, the that, first game kind of did. On the flip side of that, there is a show that totally follows the game. Oh, see, that's smart. I didn't know that. I haven't it's watched a, it. Like well, there was uh, yeah. po Pokemon Origins, I believe it's called. Yeah, yeah, that, yep. Or another thing that they could do is make, I don't, this probably will never happen, but it'd be really good, like a high res MMO version of Pokemon. That's what Pokemon oh. Go is. No, I mean like I a gotta... scale. I have to show you. I have to put up a link. It, it like is a, like a Guild Wars it, oh. version of. Wait, easy okay. there. No, <laughs> I just watched. I gotta, put, about I gotta put up a link in the. In the in well, no. The, do you uh, not game. think that would be a good idea, though? In the game. Would be awesome. Like a Guild Wars style Pokemon game. Hang on. It was on. Uh, yeah. was on comic book.com. I guess. I'll put up a link. It, it is like, it's like Skyrim with Pokemon. 
I think, I think it. It, it, it looks... Oh, I think it's Unreal I Engine 4, that. and it looks... Um, it it four looks oh Irish my god, I would never starters. leave my room. I would never leave my room if that ever came out. Bethesda Pokemon see. game, how about that? That's it, game over. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, I think if, if this is successful, 2016 might be the year of Pokemon. With that and Pokemon Tournament, this oh, yeah. might be... This just might be if, an explosive if the, Pokemon. If the trailer that they show is the promise that we're going to get, I could say so, hands down. But they I actually did show gameplay in the Pokemon Go trailer really, really, really quick. It was only like two or three seconds. It is the same mechanic in like battling and all that from Pokemon X and Y and Alpha Sapphire and Mega Ruby, if anybody caught that. It's that just I a thought, very like, quick My glimpse. thing is like the, how they do it where... It, when you're looking at your phone, it looks like they're in front of you. Oh, that's not happening. That's so not happening. See, that's that's that's, that's what, you know what they gotta do. I just thought of it. I got it. Project Morpheus mixed with Pokemon. Oh my god. <laughs> There's not gonna be a VR or AR Pokemon game for like years. I guarantee. You, the salt is is coming out of me right now. That that would just be. <laughs> but if you check the link I just put up, it's. It's Pokemon and Unreal Engine 4. It, I've, this I've is, this you is know, I I really think that this Pokemon game, if successful, is going to bond people unknowingly. I'm going <laughs> to tell you why. You're going to be walking down the street, and or you're let's say you're going you're going to work. You, you're a commuter. You're going to see age ranges from people that are freaking five to fifty wearing these Pokemon Go Plus. All right, without a doubt, you think pins so, or, but they did this before. They had the Pokewalkers. Yeah, but that's that was different. That was more discreet. That was yeah. more like in your pocket and no yeah. one knew. This is like you're wearing it like a lapel pin or you're, you it's know, on your wrist. People are going to wear it in their pockets. So. I'm no, no, I, I, I won't. Just like the Pip Boy. <laughs> I, think, I think business people will wear it in their pocket. I can agree with Greg on that regard. No, I really don't think so. You'd be surprised yeah, no, what I hear people talking about. It's going to be a thing people play and no one's going to talk to one another. I guarantee no. it. I, wish, I honestly wish they would. I wish I'm going to challenge you. You guys are a bunch of negative Nancys, I swear to God. No, it's, it's not negative Nancys. It's realistic. Because we, we've tried many things like this before and it's never happened like that. Yeah. Well, Maybe you know what? Then I'm going to go to Japan it? and wear mine and play it because yep. everybody we'll, in Japan we'll will be wearing oh, it. No one, no one likes this, apparently. This is... Everybody in Japan... No, have you ever seen the releases in Japan for the fucking Pokemon games? Dude, they're insane. They're like it's days. Like a... <laughs> it is. The streets. No, they do. They. <laughs> it's it's okay. like people take off of work, but and there's grandparents. Look at our for Call of Duty. It's the same thing, just with yeah. a different game. I take off. Them. No, no, no. It's not. <laughs> for both. This. No, you. I've got to find. I've got to find the release. What was it for? I forget. It was um. For Pokemon Go. No, uh, I. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to type and talk at the same time. Um, I forget which one it was. They showed the release date and they were interviewing people in line. And the the guy walks up to these two, like, old. And, and I'm saying they're old, so you know they're old. And he's like, oh, you know, are you if you're like, no, we, um... We, we both have taken off work so that we can get our, um, our... We can get one version of each. Ow. What is that? You're lagging a little bit. Oh, wow. Yeah, you kind of cut out on me there, too. That was really, really weird. Am I okay now? Now you're okay. Yeah. I just... That was the weirdest thing. I heard, like, a... Never mind. It was weird. All I know is things were going on on this side. But, um... See, Zenik, Zenik says I'm not alone. He's wearing that shit. I am, I am going to challenge all adult Pokemon lovers. I do like Pokemon what Moda lovers. said, though, about how go to PAX right after these come out. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. true. Well, you'll see them. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I really want this to happen. I want it to bring people together, but I honestly think it's not going no, to. No, it's going to. I'm going to make it happen all I by think myself. It will, but my big concern is I hope this doesn't falter the, the making of an, an actual new Pokemon, real Pokemon game. I don't think because so. Because that's what I that's what I look for every year or two. Or now, no, now it's almost yearly now because like of... I was telling Steph at work, my personal position on on how 
Nintendo seeing stuff on the business side is they realize that they can't solely rely on their handheld console side because it's kind of staggered a little bit because a lot of people don't use handhelds. A lot of people... What, the 3DS? Yeah, I'm talking from an overall perspective. If you look at how popular the 3DS is now compared to what like a Game Boy Color used to be, pretty sure it's been staggered a little bit. I'm... I'm... I'm probably going to have to tell you that it's pretty consistent. And the only reason is because I see a lot of statistics that maybe you don't. <laughs> it's one of the best, you know, it's the, the best it's, handheld console of all time. Yeah, it's and it's... As a whole. You know but what? I they could, like they could they, technically they, just make Pokemon games for the 3DS forever, and it would still outsell anything else. Oh yeah, definitely. And I'd be there first in line to buy it. <laughs> Well, and I'm being, I'm not, I'm being serious. I mean, I'm not even talking about all of the other games that there actually are for this. And, and, um, and there you know, is a lot of games. There are there, a lot, a lot of good there's games. There's a lot of games for the Fire 3DS. Fire Emblem, Monster Hunter, all the Link, uh, Legend of Zelda games. Yep. And Smash uh, now. But, uh. Smash forever. Mm-hmm. Yep, see, 3DS, highest selling console period since its release. What now? Um, well, Drop the mic. No. Hey, well, here you go. <laughs> compared to what? Worldwide for 3DS has been 42.74 million, and the, the DS alone sold 154 million. So, if you don't call that a staggering fault, that's a pretty big number gap. All right, but then the, talk of you know, this is what I'm saying. They've had the 3DS. The only thing they've really done to it, they've made it bigger. And the yeah. new one that they're getting. But I, right, but, 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 but Troy, up it's until now, out. how long has the 3DS been out? The same thing. The original 3DS or like the 3... Or... The, what I'm saying is the 3DS, they've, they've done little... It's been four years. Came yeah, out it's been a, been, a, been a while. And I've had, yeah, I've had it since. and I've, I've had one, two, three, I think I've had four or five of them, just... The DS just was from on. about 2004 yeah. to oh, about yeah. 2010. I had the DS and the then the and DS then Lite from 2011 and the 3DS. Until current is the 3DS. But that's what I'm saying is Nintendo is a company that doesn't <laughs> Exmoda give, doesn't give up their properties very easy. <laughs> They're very stubborn when it comes to their properties and they their should be. characters. So for them to set all of a sudden turn around and say let's make a game for the mobile phone. <laughs> Oh no, I know because the trust making- me, getting getting any type of game to review is is almost Im- impossible. Well, I'm no, it's almost impossible from Nintendo. It's not impossible. I can get multiple games for the uh, for the 3DS. I can get a shit ton of games, except when it comes to Pokemon games, because they know that they're gonna no matter what. They no don't. matter what, they don't need anybody to review it. They've no, got they they walk up Pokemon game, drop the mic and leave. They, any Mario true. game that comes out, <laughs> but it's yeah, they're true. all amazing. But they, they walk they, out for a press release for a new poke. It's Pokemon Rainbow. Drop the mic. <gasps> <gasps> Yay! Yay! Like, you know? I just, I think it'll be successful, but I think it's starting. I think Nintendo is trying to change up what their normal plan is because they realize well, I, they're not. I do too, and like, um, I think Troy said in the beginning, this is either going to be a big, huge hit. Or it's gonna fail miserably. I just hope now, the microtransactions and all that don't get too question. over, over there. Are there microtransactions? I haven't heard of. I honestly think there will be because how are you gonna buy pokeballs? How are you gonna buy great balls? How are you gonna buy that unless you maybe it's like a uh, pedometer, like, like when you have... walk with it, maybe maybe you'll unlock. Them. AJ, I think the question the is for you in chat. All right, I don't understand how 3DS sales are underwhelming when they're climbing each month and will surpass regular DS if it also has a life cycle like eight years. Yeah. Well, see, the the DS had a life cycle of really, it wasn't even eight years. It was like five, and it sold $154 million. And in almost that same time frame, they've only sold $42.75 million of the 3DS. Well, they've so... been updated each time. Is that taking into account all of the 3DSs? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's it's literally well, there's it's a 3DS, a 2DS, number. 3DS XL, new 3DS XL. Yeah. There's, there... I mean, I, I say that it's a. St- I think that the handheld market has been more shifted towards mobile phones. I'm not saying that. I know. That Nintendo I, is falling apart. I think apart. they're trying. I know it, they're. No, I, they're not. 
ever. I, you know, I, and maybe I'm talking because I have always been a Nintendo fangirl forever. But I, I don't think, I really, really wish I had somebody that was, I'm going to get them on, I'm going to find somebody that knows more statistically. I'm going to get, I know who would know. I'm, I'm going to do some research and get them on the show next week. Because I, I think that, um, although I, I just don't think they're as staggering as you think they are, AJ. Well, I'm, I'm just going based off of a, of a current ratio of the same amount of time frame versus what the last pr- predecessor did. I'm, I'm not doing it out of out, out of nowhere. I have numbers. No, I'm. I'm talking from it from a point where it's almost the same time lapse. And it's almost a third of the same value. Right. All right. But uh, we are actually going to move on because I'm watching the clock tonight. <laughs> Zenith, so... if they, it's going to be in Pokemon Skyrim uh, mashup. <laughs> the crap in them. Oh, that would just be, that would be too much. Right. You have to go find supplies. and Oh, my God. That would just be way too much. I but I um, what I want to, I want to dedicate this next um, half hour of time. Uh, two is uh, two. Uh, Greg with one G. Hi. <laughs> this okay. is um, your show coming up now. Um, uh, I don't plan on monologuing the entire time. <laughs> Remember, you have to fit um, a lot of information in. We have uh, been pretty. If you were playing Destiny, everybody knows you've got the update. Um, the the kind of. Uh, you, I would like to say the world map, but the Didn't universe map. Um, so taking has... King already? Yeah. At least Xbox. Yeah, yeah no, that's that's, that's, that's they usually kind do of the, but you I mean, can't do it yeah. in a minute, right? No, no you can. Like, yeah. You can play the multiplayer. There's a do they've yes. changed the tower, they've changed the like the vault system and everything. Um, but any actual story content or weapons and armor or whatever from from the Taken King have not been released. Now, could somebody explain to me this multiplayer game mode? Because I've heard it's Which more one? like it's party a- style. Or it's, it's more awesome. Like, it's more fun, supposedly. It's... Well, there's two new multiplayer game modes. You've got Rift and Mayhem. And I have a mayhem. shitload of fun with Mayhem. But Rift, Rift is like reverse capture the flag. You've got a spark that charges in the middle. Mm-hmm. You've got to pick up the spark and carry it to your opponent's Rift. And that's how you score like a whole shitload of points. It's totally objective-based. The it's kills, so fun. The, the objective <laughs> is going to so like, completely fun. outweigh the kills. So you really do need to play the objective in this. No, you but, absolutely do. Like, if you have a good team... Uh, you, oh, I played I played a really lousy game of that, and I played a really good game of it. The good game had... I, actually, the one guy that seemed to be kind of taking control of our team messaged me, and he said, Can you do defense? I said, Absolutely. And he was kind of, he was telling everybody kind of where they were going to be if they got, you know what I mean? So we were, we were ready. Yeah, no, we were ready. We had people, they didn't score. We won. And who was going to run it? Who was going to run with the person? Who was going to hang back? You know what I mean? He had people running in front of the person that had the spark. It was pretty cool. It was a good game. And that's kind of when I, I was like, oh my God, I was drooling a little bit. I had to wipe my controller off. <laughs> it's it's awesome. a hell of a fun game, but honestly, I think Mayhem is even more fun just yes. for the insanity of it. Mayhem is basically you got your supers, your grenades, and your melee cooldown are all supercharged. They just they come in immediately. Oh, so that's see, like that sounds fun. Six death match and the entire time is nothing but supers and grenades, and it's hilarious. My only concern about that is. Is it a little too chaotic? Like, is it? But that's too why much? it's oh, going on. It's fun. called mayhem. It's one. You don't have to play it. It's your choice. You know what I mean? It's not like they're putting a gun to your head and you have to go. It's it's one of those. You know, when if you go into Crucible, you know there's different styles you can play. Yeah. It's not. Um, you know. So it's your I choice. I did think it would be like way too much, and I would be like die constantly because by the time you get in there, like you got Nova bombs up here fast and whatnot but it it really is it's balanced enough to where you're gonna get your super just as fast as everyone else and right. it's really a lot of fun see now you guys are making me i know i gotta go to destiny and try this out now yeah you yeah, absolutely have to at his hunter oh, places five times down at once in mayhem i know it's insane. insane 
So I could Titan Smash 30 times in one the game? The best is, you've already got like, exotic <laughs> weapons and armor that will charge your super for you. So, like, right. I was playing with my Warlock on, uh, what is it, uh, Voidwalker with the Nova Bomb, and I had the, uh, the Oblivion Mind on it, which each one of your Nova Bomb kills charges your next Nova Bomb. So, oh my God. literally, no <laughs> it's amazing. Grenades, grenades everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's exactly what it is. It's so much fun. I can only imagine. Um, I just turned it on right now, and I already noticed that the title changed, and the menu oh, yeah. music is different, I'm, too. I'm excited about that. I noticed the music changed when you heard Yes, out. I noticed that, too. It's really cool. Yep. And then you get to finally see Northbot. <laughs> Yeah, I I uh I've grown used to his voice. I didn't like him at first, but I, I think I like him there. The North Otter, Nolan Bot, whatever. Did people really? I I I I played through the campaign fully. I really didn't care about the voice. Like I I really it doesn't really. I don't care who does it as long as it was like it didn't really bother me. I don't know. I guess some people really. I don't no, know, it, it's a big deal. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is the guy who's pretty much narrating your entire story. Right, that is a big. I didn't think so terrible. Did a bad job. It wasn't terrible. He did a terrible job. He was a little, a little. Uh, then why mono, is it like, that not a single or... review that it, they ever really talk about his performance? I don't know, but I don't really read reviews much. I read like people on Twitter. Everyone's I... saying he, he does a terrible job. I didn't have the one video. They said Personally, that, uh, he I was taking a sedatives while he's uh... needs more sedatives. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, uh, Nolan North has put like a good amount of character in there, and um, it's not perfect. Oh, but his my voice goodness. is not perfect. Sorry. Sorry, I just got an invitation to the Walking Dead premiere at Comic Con. I apologize. Ooh, you did I just well. fan- I just fangirled. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Carry on. But yeah, I no, I, I'm Nolan North's growing on me. We'll put it that maybe way. maybe I have to see Nolan North actually. I have to actually listen to it. Maybe it, that'll sway my opinion. But I didn't think that. Uh, Dinklebot did that bad. I think when I hear Nolan North, though, my main spot. guy is Deadpool. When I hear it, that's I yeah, think you'll be both. Nolan North. That's what I think of. Maybe because I'm already associated with him being Deadpool. But I think it. I, but then again, Troy, Troy, that's a good thing because you love Deadpool, so you always get yeah. to think you have Deadpool by your side. But is he a little more like vocal, a little more loud? Because I know when the ghost was talking, he always kind of just talked like this and very softly. He is, he he is really, a little, you know, excited. Like when someone comes, he's not like ah, yeah. uh, somebody's behind us. He actually kind of. He actually sounds excited to be there. So yeah. <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> Exmoda says. Uh... What's what's your favorite class in Destiny, and why is it obviously the Hunter? <laughs> you know, honestly, uh, well, it depends on the mood. Right, like, uh, that's all I have. You know, I'm I'm sadly not um, a Greg, and I have one character. That's all I've ever you're played. You're missing out. You really are. But you oh know what? God. I tried. I tried playing another one, and I didn't feel comfortable. And I'm gonna say I am. I'm honestly one of those people when I get comfortable with a certain class Mm -hmm. you don't want Uh, to change i know it's not that i I, yeah i don't know like that's in guild wars 2 i have two main characters that i play they're both necromancers i love that class i like playing it um i my kids have other classes on there i don't like them they don't feel comfortable you know what there's nothing wrong with that everybody right so i'm always i'm just comfortable with that type i'm i think Um, I, i play it well i don't you know i know I know how, I know how she feels. <laughs> no, it's I don't know I, how else to say it. You know. Usually in Call of Duty, I stick to one gun. I don't normally change it. Like I, yeah, they'll, no, they'll I have do the whole list. I, yeah, I usually I have stick two to guns. Either. One for one offense, gun. Once, one for you, once you get comfortable with it, you don't really want to. Once you you don't want to redo that whole whole thing over again. Well, it's I not a matter of that. even doing it all over again because I made a. I you know the only like on Guild Wars two the only thing I did different was. One's a Norn necromancer and one is an Azura necromancer. I went from extremely large to extremely small, and the the characters vary in the skills that they can do. Do you know what I mean? But basically, their their powers and stuff like that are the same. So, um, but I like my Azura necromancer better for PvP because she's a little bit faster, I think, than I do my Norn. So that's just so. her feet are closer to the ground. Don't get it. It is. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. When I I did my hunter, I 
did it because, and I, you know, why I did the hunter, and I'm not even gonna lie because she reminded me more of a necromancer class. So. True. <laughs> and well, that's kind of why I, I took that, took a hunter class. I'm pretty sure when I picked my first character in Destiny, I, I picked the one I picked. I think I picked the hunter. And I was like, oh, this kind of looks like Master Chief. I'm going for this guy. I swear. Yeah, I, I, I picked the Titan. The hunter, honestly. Or what yeah, was it? Was it which the most popular? I have to go look at the images. But, um, Greg, do you want to talk about up on the screen? We have the Night Stalker, the Stormcaller, oh, and the oh, Sunbreaker. I'm so excited about these. Do you want to talk a little bit about each one? Um, the Stormcaller, that's the new Warlock class. All right, first of all, all these classes, they're going to be the final missing uh, elemental type for each, uh, each of the different classes, all these subclasses, rather. Um, so the Stormcaller is going to be the missing Arc, the Warlock, the Sunbreaker is the missing Solar for the Titan. The Night Stalker is the missing void for the Hunter. The Stormcaller is, in a, in a phrase, General, uh, what is it, uh, Emperor Sidious? Yeah. Lord I Sidious? So. Yeah. Um, it looks, it looks, I don't know, it looks like a, just another Warlock class, aside from the super where you basically get to float around and shoot lightning at everybody. <laughs> it does seem to charge itself very well in the perks. I haven't read the perks recently, though. So that one looks cool. The Sunbreaker is the one that, like, what is it? Uh, I think one of the developers is most excited about. It. He keeps pushing it. Um, the Fire Titan, basically. Yeah. You get some Titan the love. Soul. The only Titan here. Uh, <laughs> but the reason the Sunbreaker is super is really cool is the Titan actually gets to move around now. The other two, the Warlock and Hunters, you can always move around during their supers, except for the Nova Bomb, but you always have the uh, Radiance on the Warlock. The Titan always was like a, a high-risk, high-reward super. It was a make-or-break thing. You either slam the ground or you pop a bubble, and you don't have any other chances after that to do anything. You just have to build another super. Now with the Sunbreakers super, the Hammer of Soul, you can run around oh. and throw flaming hammers at people. Good, uh, not interrupt you, Greg. Good question in a chat by uh, Moda. Um, how do you feel about the $40 price of Taken King and what we saw and what we know we are getting? New story, mission, strikes, raid, uh, subclasses, weapons, and armor. Is the price justified or is it dependent on how much you enjoy Destiny? It's always dependent on how much you enjoy Destiny. That's for any game. Like, is this game worth it for you to buy? So that's not really even a part of the question for, you, for me. But honestly, I think $40 is a good price price for what we're getting for the Taken King. What now, I don't, yeah, what I'm not into is the fact that people who already, or people who don't have any part of Destiny so far are getting it all for like, what, 120 bucks? So like the main game, the first two expansions, and the no, Taken King only like 120 I think it's only 80 Which gives them like $50 off what we paid, and we're paying 40 for Yeah, that's, the that's a... Thing. That's what I'm not into. Forty dollars seems like a legit price for the game. No, but see, my old. thing is, is like every, every every year are we gonna, you know what I mean? Like, like are you we gonna have to keep paying for? You know, this is a yeah. ten year expansion game. In then, quotes, ten year expansion. But the but that's what they put it. You know, when it before it was even out, they had said this game's. You know, they they were comparing it to wow. And the, and the longevity. Do you know what I mean? So if yes. the longevity is the same, then is $40 every year, year and a half, going to be worth it? It's like paying um, for Xbox Live Gold, pretty if much. They keep, if they keep right. uh, providing, say so. I mean, people See, would spend $60 a year on, like, a, a Call of Duty game or a... Uh, but that's that's an entire Zach game, though. Speed game. What? That's an entire game. But no, that an entire game. You're playing the same thing with a couple counter of Counter argument to that isn't an entire game. Not Call always. Duty, in the new Call of Duties, you're playing the same game with a couple of new features, as far as I'm well, concerned. Well, it's different developers. So, in but a way, you're not really playing the same Yeah, game. that's true. I, I don't agree with the price just for the sole fact that I, I can't see spending the same amount every year. They should entice people. That were early adopters. I think I, you know what I, I have to agree with AJ. I think uh, the yeah. people that had Destiny from the get go, I think, should be given a break. I do. What, you know, I don't think it's fair. Saying, I don't know why the new guys are getting the discount while we're paying the full price. That's Even like point. twenty dollars would be. Yeah. Good. I mean, have to if you think free, about or... it, the season was the really the first season pass worth thirty five dollars. Honestly, really. 
I, I got it for 30, I thought. Well, it's 35. It's around 35 attacks. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, well, is it really two worth... expansions, I don't know, so, 15 bucks each. I think that was all right. I mean, but what'd you get? You really only got a raid out of it. You didn't really get well, much. Uh, you, got the, you got a bunch of story missions. You got a bunch of new Crucible maps. Uh, I think uh, uh, Salvage was a new game type, I think, in one of them. There was a there was a number of things there. New exotics. Yeah. There's an emblem. Is Moda, Moda says, you know, for one, he points out Destiny 2 is in the works. That's true. I don't um, think it is. I believe this is Destiny 2. For me, the price is fine, but a lot of people I can see being turned off. And that goes back to your original question. Um, you know, is it dependent on how much you enjoy Destiny? I think, um, I think, absolutely, like, even for Greg, M Moda, I think you just answered your own question, though. You know, I think that, yeah, it is. You know, $40 is fine for you because, obviously, you enjoy Destiny. Mm -hmm. If you didn't, it wouldn't be fine. If you thought that, you know, you see on Twitter a lot of times and stuff, people bitching that there's, oh, it's boring now, there's nothing to do, there's this and that. It's so always... so then all of a sudden people turn around and go, oh, now i got to pay $40 for this after I've been bored for so long. Because, you know, people have to bitch. You know or... what I mean? And that's what they do. So, so for those people, I think that right away – uh, found boredom in the game, whereas I actually never did. I always felt that there was always something to do in the game. Because to me, um, being that I do... And I said this a long time ago when Destiny first came out. I said, if you're a person that mostly plays MMOs, you're going to get this game. Yeah. If you're a person that mostly plays not MMOs, you're not going to get this game. Or maybe shooters. Sure. No, because bit. see, for for see, for somebody that just goes and now see, I I like Emma, I I love Guild Wars too. Don't get me wrong, but when I play Destiny, if um especially if I'm playing by myself, I play Crucible all the time. Pretty much, that's where you're gonna find me. So, but for people that are used to playing Call of Duties and then they went and played Destiny, they don't get everything else in that game like people that might play an MMO do. Do you understand what I mean? There's, so you do have to play like the the story in order to actually right exactly. But for people that are used to um, playing Call of Duties or Battlefields where it's multiplayer all the, the time, yeah, they play the crucible they don't, for a little bit and then that's really it. They and don't then they go, and, oh, yeah. this is it. Or or if they do go explore, I would say a big percentage of them don't like it because they don't understand the MMO feel of the game. It's very grindy. It is. See, I'll I'll go now, on the I'll play devil's advocate because I know me and me and AJ are on the side where X Moda, uh, we really weren't. I just want you guys to please follow the chat because X Moda is making some good points. Um, Bungie is a huge game developer. Do you really think that the whole team is making these DLC packs? No yeah. way. No, no, definitely not. I you know what his comment before that I was just about to comment before but I didn't have a chance to. Uh, Greg, would you think if if they charged the forty dollars, but what they did was they included that limited edition pr content you can get in the collector's edition as a bonus for the people Logan, that already own the game. Yeah, I just really quick, I want to yeah. address something, Logan. Logan, I understand. No, they they weren't saying that the game was going to be as amazing as WoW. They were comparing it to WoW in longevity, in how long WoW has been going. That's how Destiny was pitched. That it's gonna go that long, and right now we know it'll be ten years. They have a ten-year contract. <laughs> In quotes again. In quotes. Yeah. Long. If if you compare it to WoW, the way WoW functions. Can't no, you, you, you but that's not that's not how. But I don't want to. Oh, no. My words I, taken I, out of context. I, so. I understand that, but what I'm okay. saying is, if you take the way that WoW does their software, doesn't WoW when they release a new expansion pack? Don't you sometimes have the opportunity to buy the old ones at a cheaper price with the new one? Am I mistaken? I, I don't know. I don't. I believe you can. I believe they normally bundle it. But what I was saying is I, like, Greg, do you think if they did that as a as like a thank you, so you what, don't have to the, the ship and everything, the loyalty, all that all that stuff that's included in the no, Logan, that's fine. It was absolutely. a good point that you brought up. No you think that would have made needed. it justifiable, other than charging another twenty dollars for those people? Absolutely. Okay. See, I we, understand. We're getting a little bit for a pre-order bonus. We get like the Soros weapons and whatnot early, but, but everybody gets everyone's going to get the Soros weapons eventually anyway. So, I, silence. <laughs> I just I I don't know. I I think I understand the business concept. It makes that they don't have to put out a new game every year. They could just really keep refreshing it. 
and it's cheaper on them. But they're, they're actually putting out like a game's worth of content this time. Like, but for the other two expansions, they were kind of light. They did have a lot of content in them as far as missions and maps and stuff, but they're actually putting out practically a whole game's worth of content well, as far as they say. We, yeah, we don't know that yet. We have to sort of play it. Yeah, I mean, it could, right. they could say it could be a whole game's worth of content, and it might just be 20 hours, which isn't even a full game. Right. But like I said, um, I was on, I'm on the other side of it. Like, I, I do the share play on the Xbox where you could like split the games, you both get them. Mm-hmm. If if I didn't have the option to do that, I probably wouldn't get the Taken King. But since I have the twenty dollar option, I'm gonna take it because it's if it is as you if it could be a full game, possibly it, maybe it's not twenty dollars. That's not a bad price. It's a little more. It entices me a little bit more than if I had to pay forty. So Wait, are you guys point, reading the I was, chat? I was just about, yeah, I was just about go to ahead. Say, no, please. I mean, uh, obviously, I, I don't know how to say your name. Astra, I would assume. Ex Astra. Um, so obviously, says that you're spending a lot for a full retail game. I mean, it's like $150 for a, for a complete game. game, which is true. It's, I mean, that, well, I don't know, because the game was a, a complete game when it launched, and they added to it. But, I don't think you're spending $150 for one game. I think so far. You're spending 150 for like three. It wasn't I, a whole game I, when it launched, though, did I it? Wasn't don't it? That, though. I feel that it wasn't a full game when it launched. I feel like it was missing content, personally. Think, but it was. <laughs> if you yeah, read the news. the news. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, yeah, you yeah, know, but to... with the composer, yeah, but but it was missing a lot. I feel like. Yes, it's... Moda. I I'm going to agree with you on that. I could yeah. definitely see Engram microtransactions no. like they do in Call of Duty I, with the spy drops. That yeah. I could that I can see that. that. Yeah. But yeah. they may stay away from it right now because technically still Destiny is still kind of new. Even though it's, yeah, it's long, expanding how... and it's... I I don't... I honestly don't think that they're going to drop when that does, yet. When does, when does the curve stop when we call it a new game? That's my thing. Is, is it just going to be Destiny 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4? just keeps going until... At this yeah. point, we're at 2.0. So I think at this point, we can stop calling it a new game. They're, they're starting right. to come into their own. Some All people right. were calling this Destiny 0. 0.5, because it really wasn't an entire... In yeah. the beginning, it was just yeah, well. half of it. Should we... Do you want to address the... Well, I, I want to... I, wanna, I, I don't... I know we have a lot more to talk about um, with Destiny, but we can also pick up next week because I know we're going to be talking. We're probably going to dedicate the whole show um, unless, you know, something huge happens besides, you know, the Taken King coming out. Um, then probably the whole show is going to be based around um, Destiny. We can go more into detail because I know that AJ wanted to touch upon something. Um before we kind of uh, wrap up our show. Oh, right. Uh, Apple? Yeah, kinda, I, I'm going to just do Apple as a big hole because Apple had their big... Uh, you pay- got a whole five minutes, so shoot. That's, okay. <laughs> uh, Apple had their big press conference, obviously, where they took out the boxing gloves. Um, obviously, like every year, they announced a new iPhone, 6S. Nothing really game-changing. Designed <gasps> the same last year. They up finally up their cameras. Um, they're using high res screens, and the only cool thing that they added this year is it's um, something called Force Touch, which it's the same technology they use on the watch. Basically, depending on how hard you hit the screen, you could do different things with various buttons, um, apps, depending on what you're doing. Um, like if you lightly press on the text message button, you could it'll let you select from a couple of your f- most recent contacts, and you could just go straight to the conversation. Um, or if you just click it normally, it'll just go to the normal application. Um, they're, they're, they're doing what they normally do. They're doing their mid cycle. We'll make it something a little new that people will buy, but nothing crazy. Apple's Um, doing Apple things. Yeah. I mean, they do have 4k, uh, video on the cameras. It's a new 12 pixel megapixel camera. So, I mean, they're doing things that people want. Just, I mean, it's still going to sell. I looked before, and it's already, um, what's oh. called? It's about, already about a month out on how when you could get the phone now at this point. Pre-orders went live today. Um, another thing is now they're trying to combat uh, the Microsoft Surface. They announced the new iPad Pro, which is legitimately a 12 and 
think it's almost a 13 inch display um, it's like two iPad Airs next to each other it's insane it's got uh, 2732 by 2048 uh, resolution on the screen it's basically their uh, their Pro to a T um, it's a little pricey like Pro it's like a thousand dollars for like Ooh. one of the better ones with like uh, the 3G LTE but it it runs like a computer. It's running on there. I think it's called a nine X chip. Um, people say they played with it. That it's really good. It's still really light and thin. Um, and then the big thing that I really reason why I wanted to bring Apple into the mix because we're a gaming podcast mostly. Right. Um, is their new? They unveiled the new revamp of Apple TV. Which this is the. The game, this one you can play amongst the, obviously using Siri and other things, you can play games on it. Um, you got content being made specifically for it, like uh, Harmonix is making a game for it, Guitar Hero works with it, Disney Infinity works with it, and I thought it'd be interesting to see if maybe not this one, if maybe Apple now, maybe in a couple of years from now, maybe a year or two, if they, if you guys think that they could be considered. A competitor in the gaming market. Do you think that Microsoft and Sony and Nintendo are like too far gone for it to come back, or? Um, I don't know. I feel like Apple's one of those things. Like I was telling you before the show, Troy, that Apple just has to stick their name on things. Just like good old Marvel and yep, Star basically. Wars. And they could just sell it no matter what. They, they could like they could pretty much shit in a box and say that it's new, and they could probably sell it. I'd buy it. No, yeah. I'm I mean, I'm teasing. I wouldn't. It's just, it's the brand. I mean, do I think that they? It's can... everything. I mean, Steph, you, you've obviously been seeing, uh, you know, the industry for a while. What do you, do you think that Apple could produce its own content and become a console that could be competitive no. to the the? <laughs> that was it. That's okay. it. No, so, I mean, I really like... don't. I, I just. What if they pulled out a partnership with Nintendo? <laughs> Oh, that I don't think that's I, I know. I I still don't think they they couldn't. I I just I I don't. You know what? It's it's hard to knock off the kings. And Is it I gonna just, be another Ouya? Like, but that, see, that's my point, though. I mean, you you've got. I I just I just don't think it'll happen. I don't think that would ever happen. I I just. Look at who the kings are. Look who sits up on top of the mountain. It's for just, that. I think it's just too far gone. And that, it, and that's that's kind of the same way I feel, Troy. Is that it's just too. I, I don't. It would have to be. It, it would have to. Be it would this, have like, to be fucking. It would have to have so many exclusives. Yeah. Look amazing, and the specs must be amazing. It's just. I I I, I don't know. Maybe you could. Maybe you can come I, out I, and I, people just go crazy. For I it, think but. that's something that we can. Um, we might be able to touch upon um, next week as well. I, I kind of did uh, tell the crew tonight that I wanted to keep the show at about an hour. Um, this way uh, we can get it uploaded to uh, YouTube. I don't like to go... I could sit and talk all night. <laughs> I think as everybody else could. I would like to save some content for next week. Um, I noticed that I was following along in chat though. Um, one of the last things... Um, if you scroll up in chat, right below where Loken says it was empty at launch, and I can't, I don't, I gotta think of a name for you. Astra. Gonna, extra. I, he said, this is Activision, by the way. The season pass content was supposed to be included on release. That's true. So, so uh, I, didn't, again, I didn't want to go, you know, I wanted to make sure that uh, we got that in because that's kind of a big deal. But um, we might um, head off um, some conversation um, with his statement um, next week and going into, obviously, gameplay and things going on in Destiny. Uh, we can hit more upon um, Apple and uh, if they could come out uh, with something spectacular and awesome and wonderful. I don't think it necessarily has to be spectacular. I, I do. I made, my big point is I think they could just put their name on it and it'll work. No, I, I don't. It definitely will sell, but... It'll sell, well. but not like... Not like... Sell like not the like kings. The, the kings of the hills have been doing it for years. You're not going <laughs> to knock them off. You're not... I don't care who you are. I, I, 
I can refute that to some degree. I just, I don't know. They just have their own. They could do anything, basically. And it, it doesn't even have to work. And it's Apple talking sucks. about fruit now? Yes. <laughs> Fruits are delicious. Oh, but so we will um we'll continue the show what we're talking about now next Saturday night 10 p.m. Eastern um and we will as well um talk about um Tuesday night's release of uh Destiny Taken King woo woo that's our homework woo-hoo. for tonight yeah that's your homework and, everybody and, and, and Tuesday you gotta play and um if you know if you've got a decent mic and you want to come on the show. Um, and talk about Destiny with us, um, please uh, get me on Twitter at IR, IRGRL or um, or Twitter, IRGRL. <laughs> I was going to say email me, but that never works out. I miss emails all the time because I get too many. So just hit me up on Twitter that you'd like to be on the show, and uh, you're more than welcome to join us. Uh, but, um, yeah, we'll pick up everything uh, next week. So, everybody, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, it was a great show, I have to agree with Moda, and